Example 3 is about distance between a point and a line. Point P is 0, negative 3. And we have a line, negative 2x plus 2. It has slope negative 2 and y-intercept is 2. Well, the distance between 2 is this distance. Well, actually, this is uh, one problem from first midterm exam. And, well, of course, we have studied uh, vector projection or scalar projection to find uh, this distance. And we can use our technique in maximum and minimum to find uh, this distance. Okay, so the idea is, well, there are many points on the straight line, infinitely many, of course, and you want to compute the distance and find the minimum. That, then that will give you the distance. So uh, pick a point, pick a point on the line. Well, generic point, say Q. Let's say x comma y. So we are picking generic point Q on the line, and then we are interested in the distance. The distance between P and Q is, well, distance formula, square root x minus x component. Well, the x component of p is 0. y minus y component, well, y component is negative 3. So we have square root x squared plus y plus 3 squared. The idea is we want to minimize this. Well, eventually we take derivative and find the minimum and so on. But as you see, we have two variables. And we want to eliminate one of them. So let's try to eliminate this y guy. How we eliminate y? Actually, there is a relation relations between two. Well, we are picking a point on the line. So we are not picking random point. This point must be on the line. That means x and y must satisfy this relationship. So y has to be in negative 2x plus 2. So you can replace y by that. So it's going to be square root x squared plus negative 2x plus 2 plus 3. Good. So we have function in x, and you want to take derivative of this, and so on. Well, it's possible to take derivative of this function, but now that we have square root, the derivative will be quite long and complicated. So let's just say this is the distance. To make it simple, we take square of this and then minimize. So instead of minimizing d itself, we want to minimize d squared. So we want minimize d squared, which is x squared plus negative 2x plus 5 squared. Now we have only quadratic function. Let's call this capital D, just for the naming, D of x. And once you minimize this, you will minimize D, and so that will give, give us the distance between P and Q. And finding minimum of quadratic function is not so big deal. D prime is derivative of this guy, and derivative of second, It's just a linear function. So we have 
2x plus negative 2 times negative 2 times 2. 8x, so 10x. And the constant is negative 10 times 2. This becomes 0 if x equals 2. Well, this is just quadratic function. It's obvious that the function has minimum when x equals 2. So the graph is like that. This is just 2. Good. And basically, we are done. We have found x coordinate. So that means y coordinate is negative 2 times 2 plus 5, which is uh, so. We take Q, which is 2 comma, if you plug that here, then we have uh, negative 2 times 2 plus 2. So negative 4 plus 2, negative 2 for the distance. That's it. So distance, the original distance is going to be square root x squared, 2 squared, and then 2x plus 5, or uh, negative 2 minus, minus 3, uh, 1. So that gives you 4 plus 5. So negative 4 plus 5 is just 1, 1 squared. So square root 5. So this is how to find the distance between the point and a line. Again, you can start with picking random point, x and y. The distance formula involves square root symbol. Instead of the minimum of d itself, you can take square of this d or you can use quadratic function. And finding minimum of the quadratic function is not so big deal. Once you find x coordinate, you find y coordinate as well. Then the distance formula will give you the distance. The next problem is also quite interesting. So if you read the problem carefully, you can draw a diagram like this. So we have entire poster with some margins. Top and bottom margin is 12, and side margins is 8. And so the actual area is 1536. So inside the post, we have actual printed area, which is 1536. So based on this condition, you want to um, minimize the dimension of the post. Well, that is related to uh, reducing the cost. Okay, so in the next step, you want to use letters to equate quantities. So probably you can use x for this and then y, x and y. So x is the side of in inside the printed area, and y is this side. OK, so uh, area of the, print, the poster is going to be base. Well, x plus double of 8, and then <coughs> height is y plus double of 24, double of 12. Let's say this is our function a of x, I mean function a, and then the other condition is the area is 1536. So area of printed region is 1536. x times y is 1536. So you want to minimize this function using the condition. Again, we have two variables, and you want to eliminate one of them. 
if you want to eliminate y, you solve this for y. Then 15, 36 over x is our y. So now area is function in x, x plus 16, and then y, or this 15, 36 over x plus 24. Good. So we have function in x, and you want to take derivative of this guy. So derivative, if you want, you can distribute and then take derivative, or you can use product rule. So product rule says derivative of this and copy of this. times, sorry, plus copy of first, and then derivative of that. Well, this 24 will be gone. The derivative of that is negative 1536 over x squared. Good. Well, x times this will be negative of that guy. So there is canceling. So you can cancel this and that with x. Again, x times this is exactly negative of this expression, so we have canceling. So what's left is only two terms, 24, and then 16 times this. Okay, so this becomes zero, if two guys are the same. Let's see, this number is quite a big number, but we can reduce. Uh, so, I mean, they are even numbers. If you divide them by four, we have six, four, and then divide further. And then actually 1536 is multiple of 3. So 16 and 24 will be reduced to 2 and 3. And 1536 is triple of, I mean multiple of 3. So 5, 1, 2. That's it. So this becomes 0 if. So after reducing, we have 2 times 5, 1, 2 over x squared and 1. So a prime becomes 0 if 1 is 2 times 5, 1, 2 over x squared. So x squared is 5, 1, 2 times 2 or 10, 24. Well, this happens to be 2 to the 10th. So x is simply square root of this or 2 to the 5th power. So we want to say a of 2 to the 5 is the minimum. By, well, you can use first derivative test or second derivative test. By second derivative test. Well, to apply second derivative test, you take second derivative of that. So since second derivative, well, after canceling, we have only two terms, 24 plus x times this. When you take derivative further, this will be gone. And then derivative of 16 times that. So derivative of some number is the same number times and then x to the negative 2 will give you new coefficient so overall we have something positive and if you plug that this, I mean, if you plug 2 to the 5, 
this is definitely positive because everything is positive. So the second derivative test implies that 2 to the fifth is the number giving the minimum. So second derivative test is uh, positive. So we have concave upward. So that gives you the minimum. So for the dimension, well, we already got x and then y is simply this. So it's going to be, well, 1536 over 2 to the 5. So we got x and y for the minimum area.